Hey Doomers, welcome back. I just wanted to catch you up with my life because some of you are still engaged with my content. I get about 200 views and 50 likes, which is fair considering I'm asking my viewer to make the existential leap into reality. And for so many, denial is the dominant mode of operating. So I understand we can still catch up with what's happening around the world. I'm a journalist. Some might inquire that this is a waste of time. Why worry about things that you can't control? Maybe I'm just curious because it's a giant movie that we got thrust into and we have no choice on any matter at all. Democracy is a lie. It failed. Okay, so I'm glad to have you here. This is another episode of You're Fucked. You know they found cocaine in a shark? Yeah, Obama also endorsed heroin. The whole thing is a donkey shit circus clown show. So, you know, I'm trying to stay out of it. But I read the headlines and Collapse in Economy, I mean Climate and Economy, publishes a roundup of lately more around World War III and the gaps and loopholes in the entire interconnected system that people like Nate Hagens don't seem to grasp how bamboozled we are, how fucked we are from any crack in the system like the internet shutting down. I don't want to go into solar flares. It's a once and a who knows how long event. It could happen. Okay, look, I'm looking at probables. These warnings from UK minister and warnings, conflict, North Korea is just inches away from deploying a hypersonic nuclear missile along with China and Russia already flying bomber planes over Alaska. You know, this is just scratching the surface. This shit is going on all the time around us. We have no idea. I'm not that much of a clueless moron. Now we're hanging out and I'm by the river. You guessed it. I'm trying to work on my tan. I have a still kink in my foot. It could take months. I'm a cripple. I'm a cripple right now and at least I can be a good looking cripple. It's been an exciting journey to get here and I wanted to reflect on my own life in a moment, but again, hats off to Climate and Economy for featuring the daily climactic records being broken right now. This whole thing, the petro system, war, economy, it's all tied together in our insane ways that humans live. You think about that sometimes? I watch a lot of van lifer videos, people living in little spaces all around the world in different ways and tribes and cubby holes cages and you know our last common ancestor now could be like 4.5 billion years ago don't ask me somehow it fought viral infections it fought off bacteria <sighs> lots of new things coming out on the internet i was fascinated by this by people like humans doing their their thing. It's all a giant energy problem. Humans, war, economy. It's how do we transmit energy across the world. And that equation isn't working out anymore. And The Guardian just put out a piece reporting from this other research that oil and gas and pipeline from the West, UK, United States, is new land leases is at its highest ever. We are nonstop building coal plants. Coal is king in 2024, despite the warnings and requirements set by 20. 25 under the Paris Agreement, which is all a load of farce, bullshit, that we have to reduce in half. It ain't gonna happen. You already know. Living off-grid is more work, but considering where I was a year ago, if you've been following me, looking back on the past year and ahead, now that we're over humans continuously fucking the planet up, despite the warnings, we are not stopping. Okay, we are increasing oil and gas leases from Canada's Trudeau, A, U.S., Drill Baby Drill, Mexico, ay, 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 YOLO. because we have to keep growth, and growth is addicted to the petrodollar and fossil fuels. I don't need to explain all this shit. You get it. Some people just, uh, just, uh, uh, they can't even. They don't even fucking have their eyes open. Relax. A year ago, I took the chances, was offered a residence to stay in, so I took it out of a previously bad situation with a woman and children, which can be like signing your life away in blood, I know. Great comment. Compliments. I took the chances, stayed there, built up my protection, equipment, my tools, not gonna lie, did some practice to get out of the rat race to untangle myself from 
the city life I'd been living for so long. Now I just feel like the city is an imprisoned system meant to demoralize and demean you. And the only way to get somewhere is to make money or to be respected. Listen in Jack Morgan, I would follow this fucking millennial my age about in Florida who has just zero fucking clue about the climate and how interconnected our giant system is to dependent on energy. 18 wheelers coming in to supply our food shelves every week, you know is so caught up in the culture politics of things because it's entertaining, you know, the cost of living crisis. I know it fucking sucks right now. And cult dating life and car payments. We're all fucking dead in 10 years, dude. We're all fucking fighting for bugs and sterile water. Okay, that's where we're headed. I'm not a loony. I've been... Dude, I don't want to start. This is my audience. I should address you guys. So I took the chances back to the story of my life for the past year and forward year. He ended up being very mentally ill. He had poor control over his impulses, more than often than not sought to harm other people with verbal and physical, well, mental abuse. Not really physical because he, was, he wasn't capable of that. And he had poor recollection of what he just said, like a memory gap problem. He was a fucking narcissist, okay? And these people were very shy up front and hard to vague. You know, because they're hiding their fucking skeletons. They know how much of a shitty person they are. They're corrupted. They are the illness. Could have been from trauma or just poor life choices, genetics, both. Doesn't matter. No use in explaining the craziness. No use going back down there. And I was thrown out on the street, lost my cat, lived in some dark places, this halfway house with two crazy trolls in the basement who verbally harassed me, making me feel homicidal. I'm, I'm serious. People are so fucking nasty. Lost my cat at the same time. Hopped around places with all my belongings in my car. Like everybody, just stressed out. Dark places. You'll find yourself in a dark place when you're on lost and found pet forum communities. You just hear the most like human fucked up stories that I say human, things that we do. We're, we're chimpanzees. They just run around and beat each other with rocks and terrorize each other. We're no different. That's some dark places to go to. I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. People still living in the cities fighting for oil changes and to get your car in on time and like food, fighting traffic, it just all of it. It's like so fucking unnecessary. We just need like less than one billion. We need no people on this planet. Okay, I'm torn. I'm torn, I'll be honest. Going off on tangents here. At one hand, I love what the human race does on a intimate level. But on the other hand, from a helicopter approach, we're a, just a fungus in a Petri dish. That's a good example. Corroding and corrupting everything and making it more like us. But anyways, you know there's that quadriplegic going to MIT and studying quantum. Every day, a familiar routine for Ben Liu. Thanks, Connor. He studies subjects including quantum mechanics, physics, and he's taking on two research projects this summer. You hear stories like that, you're like, oh, humans have some, and then mostly it's just bullshit. But okay, so shitty situation, bided my time, fought and philangled just for fucking rent and for just to get by and save money for this trip, this new lifestyle. It was perfect, perfect, everything, down to the last minute details. Applied to like 50 or 60 jobs in the cold, in this apartment with no heater, no internet, and transplanted my life up here not knowing anyone or anything. But you see him more and more on YouTube. That This platform is cool watching van lifers. I'm not that much different. New way of life, got more living space though. I'm not by the beach like this other journalist I saw working out of his suburban four x four. I have actually like a nice ample space to move around and anyways cook. Okay, so my next year is preparing for winter. Like I'm paying off a little bit of this credit card debt, stock up, last of us. Get my hunting license, vest, Wood, ammo, food, perishables, supply kits, snowshoes. It's gonna get cold, minus 20 here. That'll be in a few weeks. I gotta buy like seven face cords of wood. They're like 70 bucks, a big old pile of seasoned wood and just have it dumped in front of my place and cover it with tarps so I don't have to climb through it. I have the best neighbors, most knowledgeable fucking neighbors. It is a dream come true. I got cut from my SNAP benefits just because I reported my income and it was $60 over the limit. So 
I am 20 bucks away from getting a payout on YouTube. So if you don't mind, this super thanks. Use a PayPal. You want me to get back on climate? I just want to catch you up with the world, my life, okay? <sighs> Winded. I'm not recording, re recording this. I'm not doing that. Doomers and realists united forever as one. Doomers are people who tread the line on theology that humans are the real problem, okay? But they also realize what realists are. It's like a Venn diagram. And realists just see objectively for the fact that our energy problem is not manageable. We're in a predicament which has no solution. <laughs> Unlike problems, which have solutions, there's no way out of this. We can't unfuck ourselves. Realists at least get that. But taking it a step further down spiral into doomerism, and you can go several layers deep, is that we are the terminally ill, evil primate, and we deserve everything that's coming our way. Like I said, doomers see what realists see, they just take it a step further. That's my rough explanation. We could dive more on that later. Okay, all right, just talking. Nice to hang out. You'll see this probably tomorrow or Sunday. Okay, have a good weekend. Get out there, enjoy it on this spectacular over the top. Okay, bye.